accepted into the emissary program for Bless Online. I didn't sign any contracts yet, but apparently I'm going to be flying to San Francisco. I'm going to get a sweet free t-shirt and I'm going to be actually playing the game there. So get excited and keep the hype alive for that. And it's all thanks to you guys, actually. Um, you, you guys, you know, telling me that you wanted to see Bless, telling me that you wanted me to cover Bless and me just kind of letting you know what the game's about and then showing you uh, my hopes and dreams for it has gotten their attention. So yeah, we're going to be probably doing that. I think unless things fall through, who knows? Unless the game absolutely is completely dumpster, but I, I think it's actually going to be good. That's what this video is about. So eye to eye, guys, peer to peer, player to player, friend to friend. This is just going to be my sort of video, my little rant, trying to persuade you uh, to just at least tiptoe the fence, you know, at least get on the fence uh, for Bless Online, because I know a lot of people are weary about it. And I might make more videos like this for specific perspectives and things and stuffs. You know, I, I like playing a lot of different MMOs, and I feel like there's a lot of, like, prejudice from one MMO type of player to another. You know, the PvP players and the PvE players, and that's kind of going to be the core of the issue with this video, with this game, is a lot of people are scared of the PvEVP forced gameplay inside of Bless Online. I got a whole video that's going to come about that, but basically I'm going to say that I am specifically excited for Bless because of that. I was already probably going to play it because I cover games like this, and then I wanted to play it because, hey, it actually looked decent. Double A AA or triple A quality? Cool. Hans Zimmer's going to be doing some music? Nice. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to try games like Final Fantasy, but I wanted a little bit more than just the slow-paced PvE content. Hey, Bless Online's got PvP. Oh, wait, it's forced PvEVP? That is something I can really jam to. Now, you might be a little bit confused because a lot of PvP games have PvE, such as Albion Online, a game I really liked playing. Darkfall, to an extent, actually had some interesting interactions with PvE. Uh, don't completely discount it for that. Had some weird AI stuff going on. So there are some PvP games that do have PvE, so technically they're PvEVP, but their gameplay loop doesn't generally really evenly distribute that. So if there's a PvP game, they generally don't have the dungeons and the raiding. They generally don't have good PvE, in, in a sense. Like, I mean, there's some cool ideas, but generally it's not like, yeah, you can just be a PvE player. However, in Bless, you can can, but it's also PvP, so that's the thing that's kind of scary for a lot of people that makes it really exciting for me, because there is more, guys, than just head-to-head -head PvP. There is more than just Zerg versus Zerg. If you ever played Albion Online, I can say there's a couple of different ways you can play. I mean, you could just duel, you could actually just run solo gank, and you could also just play as a gatherer. But in a PvP game, how do you do that? Well, it kind of plays like cat and mouse, and that's why I'm excited for Bless. I want to have that cat and mouse. Of course, I want the faction versus faction, the 100 versus 100. Sure, I want all that good stuff, and I want, you know, little skirmishes here and there. But the idea of also just, just being a PvE player, or maybe escorting a PvE player so that we can go and do stuff, but maybe play more of a cat and mouse type of gameplay, is something that you generally don't get in just normal multiplayer games. Now, I did do a top 10 asymmetrical multiplayer list where there's lots of cat and mouse games there, but generally it's a very niche genre. And I mean, hey, that's what we do here. We talk about niche genres and we explode that and explore that for you guys so you can find new games. But I'm telling you right now with Bless is that this is an interesting game loop that you generally aren't going to find in MMO. Despite how vanilla it might look, the class names being the usual, the gameplay not being as weird or trimming filled or candied up as other games like Revelation or BDO, no, it's not looking as ridiculous. It maybe at first glance doesn't look that unique, but that's the thing about an MMO. Yes, as someone who does first impressions on MMOs, I'm telling you that first impressions mean only so much. An MMO is meant to be lived in. It's meant to have lots of walks of life, lots of different kinds of people, players doing lots of different things and Chris crossing their paths. And that creates an interesting social dynamic and interesting gameplay there. So a game that offers a multitude of ways of playing, such as my favorite Guild Wars 2, I really like how you can do so much weird stuff in there, but it separates all of it within instances uh, very heavily. It's still fun, but now here we have an open world. We have lots of different ways of playing. We have like the whole Pokemon system. People are probably going to be going from zone to zone, you know, just basically catching things. We kind of see that a little bit with hunter systems in some games. I know there was Riders of Icarus. There was Dragon Prophet uh, and World of Warcraft has the whole hunter pet thing. And I'll let the Pokemon pet system. Have you guys tried that? It's weird. Anyways, a lot of games have had that system. A lot of games do have realm versus realm. Some games are PvEVP. Some games do have this and that, but very few put these specific systems together that are all really entwined so that we can have that crisscrossing paths of different weird types of players. And that's why I want to ask you PvE players to jump in. That's why I want to ask you guys who play Darkfall and Albion, the PvP players, to jump in. That's why I want to ask people who are really into weird asymmetrical gameplay like me, I know not many of you, I want you guys to jump in because what makes this game great, or will, is the different walks of life. So many MMO do very specific things. They just have the trimmings. They, you know, 1v1 PvP, that's Blade and Soul. Not really massive though. Guild Wars 2 has so many different ways of playing. Probably my favorite MMO at the moment, but at the same time, they go in very separate directions. You rarely see a jumping puzzle in a PvP zone, though there is one or two. You rarely see, you know, you'll have like the PvE, but you don't have the PvP at the same place, and it, it, it doesn't really mix that well. But in this game, it's specifically designed to mix, which is kind of an excuse for the vanillaness of the game, is that the classes should have a little bit more flexibility despite being, well, 
kind of usual. The world setting is very high fantasy, it's kind of seemingly like Final Fantasy XIV, but that's sort of like a foundation for the rest of the game. Everything is very foundational with Bless, and from there they're going to grow, and from there it's the players that are really going to make the gameplay. So first impressions, you can just read off the mechanics, and it might not seem like much, but you got to put it all together, guys, to really get that gameplay loop, especially for online games and mainly for MMO. Now, I do do a lot of comparisons and contractions. Imagine that. Somebody who does list videos might do that in their, you know, normal reviews or just rant videos. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it's important to know that no game, no, no piece of art really exists in a vacuum, right? There's always competition, but mainly MMO are probably the most competitive because it takes the most like work and time and effort to get, like really get any kind of enjoyment from MMOs. Now the tutorial session of like one through 80 or whatever, I don't know how blessed is going to be by the way, but I'm just saying like, you know, getting into the game, the leveling experience, the tutorial, the work that goes into researching the economy, joining a guild, um, sometimes it can be easy. I think most of the time it's actually a lot harder than what people want to admit. You know, getting into the world, it's hard to get into MMOs. And once you're in, it takes a lot of work to really keep up. So MMOs are competitive. And I think Bless Online has some co competition. I, I think so. I think so. However, a lot of people probably think it has more than it does. Let me ask you, how many games have that sensation? Hopefully you guys have played, but of vanilla World of Warcraft. Back when I played in Vanilla and Burning Crusade, there was this epic feeling of this open world uh, questing and this intermingling of so many different types of people, especially with the PvP. You know, the, the Baron's chat was so ridiculous and the invasions there and in Westfall was just stupid. And I loved how people camped out of the different dungeons and really owned it for their faction. You know, the people like the Horde would come to Deadmines and just be like, nope, this is ours for the day. And there was just a lot of really silly things that could go on with that that you don't see now in the modern world of Warcraft. So some people would say, and I definitely have said this, that Bless is emulating WoW in a lot of ways as well. It's kind of like a merger of WoW and Final Fantasy XIV, just kind of mix match together with some other little things here and there. And some people are like, yeah, well, you can just see it. It's not that original. It's got this mechanic, that mechanic, this game did that, that game did that. But again, how many games do all of it together and really are focusing on all that together? So you can say there's so many WoW clones, you're so tired of it. How many games really cloned WoW and did it properly? Actually took the gameplay loop of classic WoW and then actually did that properly. Because we can say that Wildstar was a WoW 2.0, and in, I think, most ways, it is. It's objectively, like, a better game in a lot of ways. But as an MMO, no, 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 it, it didn't capture the actual MMO magic of vanilla World of Warcraft. So, from, like, looking at all these different games and seeing what's missing, despite so many people claiming there's so many different clones, I feel that, actually, the reason that what made WoW really magical to me, the open world, the PvEVP, the intermingling, I think that Bless is trying to do that. That is its core. And then it's got these little trimmings of all the other little things that they pick pocketed from other games and they're adding it on, but at a slower pace. They have this foundation and then they're going to grow out from there. And they're not just going in any one direction, not just a PvP game, not just a PvE game, not just a social game. They have all these different mechanics, but they're not spreading themselves too thin. I think it's a really interesting and sexy balance that a lot of people are kind of evading or they're not really looking too deeply into. So all I can say, guys, is if you're looking into any game and especially Bless Online, First impressions, you know, what, what rests on your eyeballs as you open up the web page is still just the surface. And yes, that's somebody who literally reviews websites and I just call out games as soon as I see them. But the first thing that I thought as well when I saw Bless Online was, wow, really nice production value. They're trying something here. Also, you shouldn't be too scared about the red flags of early access and going by to play and also like, you know, taking so long to release. A lot of people are scared about that, but it's better than just, you know, throwing the game out on the West and making it pay to win. It, you know, it's it, this is probably the best of all evils. Is it even evil? This is actually not red flags. I'm not actually saying as many red flags as people are talking about for Bless Online. Of course, I'm still going to be critical because that's what I'm known for, being critical, cynical, comparing and contrasting games nonstop. But the truth is, is as vanilla as this game looks, I think it's actually going to fill a niche that people didn't quite realize existed. So hopefully you do now realize that. And if you've never got to play Vanilla World of Warcraft and a few other titles out there, um, if you've never got to feel that feeling of, uh, you know, all this, this sort of like different kinds of ways to play the social intermingling while all still playing the same game and not going off in totally random different directions like Guild Wars 2 does, then yeah, I, I think you should try out Bless Online. Of course, there's some games coming out that are also trying to recapture that and trying to open up the Pandora's box of PvEVP. I mean, Crowfall is one of them, and we can go, you know, the list can go on. In fact, I can make a top 10 list if you guys want me to. But honestly, Bless is going to be number one on that list, and Bless is looking the most polished. Bless is looking the most honest, and it's not overreaching, and it's not just filled with trimmings. And even in the Japanese version, which is not a proper full version that we're going to get in the West, we're getting a totally, well, not totally, but we're kind of getting some different uh, gameplay.
But even in that, I just thought that, well, this it looks like a cool game. It looks like a cool game. And then as I dove in deeper and deeper, I realized that what this title is doing is actually something uh, really unique and interesting that does appeal specifically to me, I have to say, as a PvEVP, you know, MOBA player. I did play Albion online. I played a few other titles specifically for that. Yeah, I like it. And as a content creator, you guys are hyped. I'm hyped about it. Sure. Biases aside, though, I think in the end, considering the, the non-vacuum, considering the competition, Bless, as much as it looks usual, is actually something really unique. But again, we're going to have to play. We're going to have to make sure and double check and find out. But just looking at the website, looking at the gameplay so far, uh, even though it's going to be different, looking at everything, that's just what I'm going to throw out there. That's just my thoughts and feelings so far. And that's why I'm specifically excited about Bless Online. I want to ask you guys what feature really turns you on. I know a lot of people are into collecting. That game's going to have it. There's a lot of little trimmings if you guys want to talk about those. And if you're just excited about PvEVP as me, hey, maybe we can make a top 10 list. Let me know some games that actually do PvEVP really good like. Uh, and I would love to make that list and let you guys know. But yeah, like, subscribe, and make sure to click the bell for a tell because YouTube being kind of fucky lately uh, so that we can actually get those videos and streams out to you because I will be playing and streaming this game. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek, dudes. I just want to play games and talk to you guys about these weird games and try to convince you to play them. And uh, if a game is actually shite, then, you know, you convince me to try to keep playing it or we can just pass on it. And hey, I'll let you know. So thanks, guys. I'm a reviewer. I review games and I can only do it because of you.